Shifter Guide Manager is probably the most important tool on the Shifter uh, tool, um, modular rigging system. And it contains the list of all the components that we can use to build our guides. So in order to start building components, uh, we can do this in a several ways. So the first way to do it is, um, just let me clean the scene first, is um, just double clicking on the components. So let's say I want the arm, so I'm just gonna double click here and it's going to do two things. First, it's create the guide here on the 3D scene and also open the settings for this new component. So the settings, we will go later on, on more deep, but um, it's the place where we configure the, the, the component for our needs. So each component will have several options or settings. We will have one that is um, main settings that is share or um, means it's all the components has exactly the same settings and then component settings that are distinctive from each component so each component may have different uh, settings options so that's one one way to to create a guide the other way to create a guide is using drag and drop so we can just select one guide drag and drop in top of another guy so i want to put it here on the arm or, or the hand of the other one so it's gonna open again setting here and it's automatically parenting to the to the other guide. So that's important. The, the way that usually works the guide, it's by parenting. So if I don't like it, this, so let's say, oh, I, I mistake, I want to parent on this one. You, you can just parent like this. Just, sorry, I used a shortcut, but it's just reparented to this one. So like a regular Maya parenting. It's, that's, usually the case but in some situations we have to configure uh, the connector the connector is this option here that we will see later but by default it's standard standard means just a simple parenting okay so that's um one way to uh, draw the or create the the guides uh, but we have another another way to do it so we can just click here draw component so that it's gonna do the same so I just select first where will be uh, my parent and then draw component so it's gonna be the same like is double clicking but let's say if, if you use a Wacom or it's harder to double click or something you just can use this one so you have double clicking drag and drop and use the button later we have this option here that it shows settings at after create create a new component so if we uncheck that this pop-up it's not gonna it's gonna not gonna be showing so let's say I'm just gonna create this one here and now the um, settings um, menu or uh, window is not is not popping up here. Okay, so we have plenty of uh, components. Some of them are um, similar. So we have arm, two joints, one, two, three, four, up to four versions. Each version has a slightly different options, and you can read here on the description what is the difference. Okay, so if you have any any doubt, you can just always check here. And usually we do this on development times where we need to um, keep, like, because the uh, back backwards compatibility with other, uh, like, let's say you're in production, you have a guide done, and you don't want to change your old guy, you want to create a new component that has similar options but with uh, different settings, so you create a new version. And usually when we move to a new version of Femgear, uh, probably for 4.0, we try to um, to merge all these together back in one component with much more options. So we only break, let's say, quotes there, compatibility, when we make a major release. So that's important to remember. But if we do that, you always have this option to update the guide later. So we tried never to break absolutely the compatibility. So if you have an old guide, you will be always, uh, uh, like you, you can always update the guide. So that's, that's not a big deal. Okay, so um, that's how we draw the guides. And if we don't remember or we just want to make a search, so we can just type here leg or something, so it's gonna filter out all the legs or all the arms. Um, it doesn't support um, like multi-search or wildcards, like if you put like um, leg 
asterisk 2 or something like this um, yeah well yeah wildcards is supported so you can make some kind of filter like that but doesn't support like multiple ones so arm and legs at the same time uh, by the way you, you can clean by the right clicking here clear okay so that's it it's very simple this is how you draw the guides and how you search the guides on your uh, sorry components on your um, components list then uh, we can do some other stuff like we can duplicate the guide so in order to duplicate the guide we can just click here or on the shifter menu we can use this duplicate it's exactly the same so let's say I have this guide or maybe this one and we're gonna duplicate it and move it here so this is important because um, you're gonna use the default M gear I'm uh, sorry the Maya du duplicate because what M gear does when it duplicates the guide is not duplicating that's um, a convenient name for understanding what it does it's uh, it regenerates the guide with the new uh, or using the the data of the old guide so basically it takes the positions, takes the settings, it store it and draw a new guide with these uh, settings but it doesn't duplicate as is so and um, for instance here we have uh, arm C1 that is the index and here we have arm C4 and all the internal parts of this arm is gonna be renamed C4 okay so also in the settings if we have the index component here it's gonna be updated so it's not just a simple duplicate if you use the Maya duplicate it's gonna break the guide or it's simple it's not gonna work and I'm just gonna put an example here so you go to edit and and duplicate so you see here that it did uh, duplicate it like you expected but the naming it's completely wrong so you have C4 here root 4 here so it put a random index and then um, the rest of the names are clashing with this name so basically you start to to use the long long path for the names so that's that's not good you need to avoid that okay so just gonna delete that and um, yeah that's the way that you duplicate the guides also you can duplicate symmetrical that's very important uh, when in the guide you don't have um, like like constrain symmetrical things so where you can move one side and the other side will move automatically that's not not how it works basically what you do is when you have left side it will duplicate it to the uh, to the right side so just let me clean again so I'm just gonna create simple arm again just move it there I didn't show the settings yet so I'm just gonna click this button settings or we can use the menu also like um, sorry here settings and um, here it's in the center so basically if I have a center component and I try to duplicate it's gonna show here a little message saying can symmetrize the central component of course I don't know where to symmetrize this because it's a central and it expects that you work with the facing Z axis front and the X axis its side means that this is the right this is the left so you put here the left when I duplicate symmetrical again it's gonna duplicate it like this um, if you have the lefts here and you duplicate it's gonna make put the right here so it's, it doesn't I mean it doesn't consider re really the space that you use if it's the left sided or right sided it's just gonna make the invert and invert it on the on the uh, mirror plane that is defined by the Y and Z axis on the 3D scene so we think this little axis here and this so we have the white and we have this the z axis and this creates a plane um so let me let me do a little um just gonna gonna do like this so if we have like this is the y axis and this is the z axis so this is z this is y and if we think this as a plane this is a mirror imagine you put a mirror here so it's gonna mirror on the other side of the this plane so that's the reason because I say like this is YZ plane is the mirror plane okay so um, we have cleared that and then we have extra controls we will check this later 
So uh, for the moment, we know how to create the guides, we know how to duplicate the guides, and we know that at least the first setting that we saw is that we need to make a side in order to duplicate um, symmetry. Okay, so I'm gonna stop this video here, it's already 10 minutes, and we will move on the next video talking a bit, a bit more about the guides.